It was a beautiful, cool night in Washington Courthouse as the Jackson Ironmen traveled to Miami Trace High School for a matchup with the Panthers. Both of these teams were coming in with strong regular season records and looking to carry that fire into tonight. And it was the home team that came out ready to play. Early in the first quarter, wide receiver Ashton Connell would give Miami Trace an early 7-0 lead in front of their home fans. But the Ironman's high-powered offense could only be contained for so long. On this drive, it was quarterback Jacob Winters who threw this sensational pass right into the hands of Cade Wolford. Tumbles into the end zone to tie the game at 7. After a great start, the Panthers were not able to recapture that same success. A sack and delay of game warning led them having to punt away their possession. The Ironman took advantage, and on this play, Winters connected with Tristan Prater, who has nothing but green pastures ahead of him, and glides into the end zone. It was a 60-yard touchdown, that's right, 60, and after trailing 7-0, Jackson have come from behind to take a 14-7 lead. After Miami Trace was forced once again to punt, the Ironman got right back to work. On this offensive drive, Winters struck again. He found Cade Wolford, who got his second score of the half to help create some breathing room for Jackson. Here we go, closing moments of the first half. Up a commanding 28-7, Winters tries to put the game out of the Panthers' reach, but Ashton Connell would not let that happen. Big time interception to keep Miami Trace within striking distance. Although the Panthers fans had hope going into the second half that they could mount a comeback, Jackson continued their dominance on the offensive end in the second half, outscoring Miami Trace 21-7. After falling down early 7-0, the Ironmen showed everyone who they were, an offensive juggernaut that will be a force to reckon with as the regular season comes to an end. But don't forget about their stringent defense either. After all, they only held the Panthers to 7 points in each half and barely allowed running back Jaden LeBeau to create any sort of offense for the hometown team. The Jackson Ironmen took the bus home with a win in their back pocket, demolishing Miami Trace 49-14. Reporting for WOUB Sports and Gridiron Glory, I am Darius Sethna.